The Springfield Art Fest kicks off tomorrow. Vendors spent tonight setting up for the two day festival, but it is still spring after all. Ron just talked about this and they have to prepare for the showers ahead. Charmel Odell joins us live near National and Walnut to give us a live look at the festival and what the vendors are doing to prepare for the weather. Ashley, I've been here at Art Fest for a couple hours now, and while I've been here, I've seen several vendors getting prepared for the opening day, but what they're also be getting prepared for, those morning showers. We could have lost everything at our booth over one sale. Daniel Finn travels nearly 600 miles all the way from Iowa to Springfield. Hey, this is maybe our seventh or eighth time over the years. Finn and his wife have done glass blowing together for nearly 40 years. With such delicate valuables, Finn and his wife must protect it. If it gets really windy and we're really worried, we'll set a lot of the stuff on the ground, unsnap the sides, take them down, and affix them to the legs, and zip the corners down so it's one big cube. And I leave these vents open and high winds because that lets the air evacuate from the tents. But for Finn, being overly prepared doesn't always work. One sale could have cost his product and potentially his life. We were at a show in Duluth, uh, Minnesota, and a young lady was in our booth, and it was a terrible, terrible storm coming across the lake, and she kept wanting to buy something during the storm because we zip all the sides down and make it so the wind can't come in. And if somebody's in your booth, you can't do that. So your wind, you can't protect yourself or your product if people hang around. While Finn is getting prepared for Saturday's showers, other vendors I talked to aren't so worried. Not a whole lot of prep went in. It's Martin Kitston's first year at Art Fest. He's painted nearly all his life, but within the last four years is when Kitston decided to turn his dream into reality. The pandemic was kind of the big push for my wife and I. Our daughter had to start doing virtual learning, but because of virtual learning, it kind of was the push for me to, you know, quit my full-time or my part-time job and then pursue it. Kisten uses oil to create his paintings, causing less of a worry to him if it gets wet. It's not too detrimental. If you could splash water on this and it'll be fine. An oil paint as it is repels water. It doesn't absorb it. Now, the festival is set to begin tomorrow at 10. Tickets are $5 and kids five and under are free. Now, you can go online and purchase tickets or at the gate when you arrive tomorrow morning. In Springfield, I'm Charmelle Odell, KY3 News.